visits me in the middle of the night and just stands there silently. He's so tall that I can't see his face. Hey, I'm coming to get you now. All right, Mom. Okay. All right. I love you too. Bye. Okay, then. Yo, what's wrong? Nothing. Just strive, all right? All right. Jeremy, what's up? Jeremy, no, Jeremy. Jeremy. What's wrong with you? Just leave me alone, okay? No, tell me what's wrong. I'll talk to you after school. All right, after school we're gonna go to the park and talk, okay? I gotta go home and change first, but yeah, sure. All whatever. Right. Just tell me what's wrong. I don't know, man. I've just been really stressed out lately. Well, so have I, but you don't see me acting like a psycho. Well, you know how my mom just had that miscarriage, right? Dude, I had no idea. No, it's, it's okay. I mean... She wasn't really telling anyone. I mean, I guess that makes sense. No, that, that's not it. it. It's not it. I mean, ever since before the miscarriage, I mean, since my mom got pregnant in the first place, I just feel like someone or something's been... I, I don't know. I've just I've been feeling really stressed out. I mean, it kind of makes sense. When my mom was pregnant with my sister, everybody in my family was on edge, too. Honestly, just take a mental health day tomorrow. One day at home is not going to kill you. Hey, who are you playing with? You don't know him. Really? Is he new? I don't know. Okay. What's he like? He's really tall and he's skinny. Really? Well, it's time to go. I mean, I tried to, but I just didn't have enough time. I mean, it's ridiculous how much homework is to charge our business. I'm still trying
assume first. Yeah, sure. I think he's getting up. Dawson, Dawson, we've notified your parents. They said to go home when you feel better. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'll just, I'll go home now. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in school today? Actually, that been feeling well. I went up from school early. Yeah, I called to see how you're doing. Well, I'm actually feeling a lot better. I think taking the day off really helped. I think I'm starting to get whatever you had. What do you mean? I don't know. I've been getting these insane headaches and, like, seeing things. I don't really know how to explain it. Well, maybe you should look it up online. Eh, I don't know. Come on, it can't hurt. Alright, so I'm seeing here is headaches and lightheadedness are caused by blah 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 blah. Wait, hold on a second. Alright, so it says here there's this man. Hello? Jeremy? What? What did you find? Hello? Dawson? Dawson! What? Broward Library? Yes? Tell me where the mythology section is. Sure! It is in the very back, second to the last row, on the top shelf. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you tell me who the last person that checked this out was? Sure. Okay, it says here it was a woman by the name of Mandrell Thomas. Great, thank you. Dawson? Quickly, I need to tell you what I found. Where have you been? Well, I was researching my symptoms and I came across this thing called Slender. I can barely hear you. Meet me at the new building after school tomorrow. O okay, but what for? Dude, what happened to you last night? I think I found out what's been causing my headaches. Come with me, there's somebody we need to talk to. Okay? I was at the library the other day, and I came across this book, and I found these papers in them. Uh -oh. 
I need to know what all this means. Who is Slender? Shh, don't say his name. What is she talking about? I'm talking about a demon, an entity, a myth. What I'm talking about isn't real. Please, I know you've checked out that book before and either written these symbols or seen them before. Can you please tell me what all of this means? Slent, it is something I have been obsessing over for years. Its name is Slenderman. But what does he want? It is an entity that feeds on the innocence of young children and it will stop at nothing or anything that gets in its way. Okay, but that doesn't explain my constant headaches and paranoia. I'm getting to that. Slender Man, it, always picks a victim that has a sibling that is a small child. He'll stop at nothing to go after that. And he causes headaches, stress, paranoia. Dude, she sounds like a drug commercial. How do you know what she's saying isn't a load of- Shut up! Sorry, please continue. No, it's, it's okay. It might be hard to believe for somebody who hasn't experienced it. Might not have? Have you had any headaches recently? No. No? What are you talking about? Two days ago you were acting like a total lunatic. What? That's crazy. Exactly. You see, Slender Man will move from person to person when its job is done. Most people, the lucky ones, will forget the headaches. They'll forget the paranoia, the stress. But the unlucky ones, like me, will obsess for years and years over it really is a Slender Man. And you can't get the images out of your head. It's, it's like he's still here. Okay, but what about the headaches? I don't know, but I've decided that it's to suppress or oppress or distract you from its ultimate goal. To lead small children away to his void. To its hell. This is crazy! I'm not innocent, nor am I a child! Exactly, Dawson. You're being distracted. You gotta look at the big picture. Do you have a younger sibling? Natalie! Hello? Mom! What? Where's Natalie? I just dropped her off at a friend's house. Which friend? You know, it's the house in Davie. Which house in Davie? You know, the one with the tall white house in the back. Why? I can't explain now, I gotta go. Natalie, is Natalie here? No, why? My mom said you dropped her off. Where is she? She's never been here. Should I call someone? No, never mind.
Natalie? Natalie? Natalie, are you okay? Yeah, but where's my friend? Never mind that. We have to leave.